Jesus, 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 Jesus. Now, I come here because I love God. I'm alive because God created me. I'm so thankful that I'm not in hell with Satan right now, with demons tormenting me. I've been given the privilege to repent for my sins, be washed clean from all my lust, hatred, pride, evil, and murder. And I've been given a privilege and I have time on this earth to get it right, to be sanctified, to get it right with the Lord. So if God want me to come here and worship him, I'm going to do that. I'd rather do it now than deny the will of God, deny giving Jesus praise and spend eternity in regret. Okay. So I don't care what I go through. I don't care what sin I'm dealing with. I don't care what I go through in my life. I'm going to come here. I'm going to worship Jesus. I'm going to talk about the Lord. I'm going to grow. I'm going to stay. Have that word right in front of my eyes. Burning in my heart. Integrated into my DNA. My memory. And I'm going to live for God. I'm going to use every moment. If I drink coffee and I feel wired up, I'm going to use that to honor Jesus. If there's pride in me, if there's wickedness in me, I'm going to repent. I'm going to wash myself clean in his blood. I'm going to violently oppose sin, Satan. It is not worth my soul. I don't care what human beings think about me. Whether they agree, I'm, I don't have time to play with my soul. I'm not going to be with the devil. I'm going to be with Jesus Christ forever. But I really just came here to give you uh, an update in the Holy Ghost. Well, in the description, in the sphere of power, there's going to be a beautiful link. Because, you know, in these past three years of my life, ever since I really began to have a healthy, fast lifestyle and the Holy Spirit really began to just change me and I really had sacrifice and they, I started going into the ministry where my gifts activated, where I understood revelation of God's word and I began to encounter Jesus and my character began to build and all these magnificent things the Holy Spirit was doing in the secret hidden realms that you can't really always detect in your human carnal mind and I began to let lust out of my heart. I began to get deliverance in my life from all the demons and principalities and curses that were on my life. And God has been feeding me, filling me. I've been eating at the Father's table, lunch. You know how you have little Snickers bars and little sandwiches. Well, I've been eating at God's table. So I have all these books that I've written, all these messenger and all these applications where knowledge and wisdom is filled. The Lord had gave me a vision or he showed me something and he's like, I've, I've filled this measure with knowledge, revelation, wisdom, but you've only released this amount. So you have this measure in the spirit and it's expected, it's mandatory for you to really just go where you want to go. You have to fill this measure. So what I'm doing on this website I'm building there's no advertisement. There's no asking, hey, buy this and you'll get this discount. I'm not hating. I'm just saying there's no asking for your email. You ain't finna get none of that. I don't care about your money, but I'm going to put everything God has revealed to me, everything that I've written down on this one page called spirituality, true spirituality. And I want you to check it out. The anointing of God is there. There was tremendous revelation there. There is my life journey and experience and all the visitations to the heavens, the revelations and wisdom straight from the pearl of th God's throne room is in that. You will be changed. You will be elevated. You will have angelic encounters. There will be revelation. There will be streams of divinity. You will sip upon. You will never be the same. Ain't nobody asking you for no money. Ain't asking you to sow no seed. Ain't, I just want people to taste this and to be touched 
If one person receives Jesus, if one person's perspective is changed, if, if, if the Holy Spirit stored and embedded in these revelations ignite one human heart to serve God, if one life is touched by this, all the work and effort was so worth it. And I'm going to put the link in it. I'm working on it. I'm getting all the things together and I'm sharing it all on this one page. And I really just want, I want souls to be touched by it. So I just wanted to share that. The devil be trying to fight me, but like he's so weak. I'm going to tell you, the devil's so weak when you serve God. The devil's so weak when you truly want to try to walk with the Lord. I've learned it's really just, see, I learned when you receive Jesus, you received every bit of God. You're not getting any more God. You've received all of God's spirit. It's just you exploring and activating greater dimensions, activating greater measures in the spirit. When you receive Jesus, you received 100%, not 50% now you received 100% of all God's power, who he is, his, and, I've, and I've learned that. And so I realize it's within me in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm really so thankful to be alive and you know how we, it's too hot outside, it's too cold outside, I, I want more food, that's not enough. Man, when you start to realize how real demons are, how people are burning in hell, all these devil worshippers and all this evil, how real, the, you're going to be grateful that you got that you only make $10 an hour and you got to go to McDonald's. You're going to be grateful that, that you got to... You got a five hundred dollar, ten thousand dollar son. You're gonna be grateful whether you ain't got a car that you get the privilege to walk to the corner store. That you have the privilege to walk to the Walmart Super Center. You're gonna be so grateful and so you're gonna reverence the time you have and you're gonna cherish your moments and your very life is gonna be just an openness for change. You're, you're gonna learn the wisdom that if someone corrects you, you, receive that, receive that correction. I'd rather be slapped with the truth and be changed in a physical altercation than to be just lavished with lies and smoothly led to Sheol. So my life is really being changed as I read, you know, there's things in my life I go through. There's, there's things that I'm not perfect, but I don't identify with my flesh. I don't identify with my sin. I don't identify with my struggle. I don't identify with the temptation that say I identify with what the Bible says about my life. I identify as being the righteousness of God. I identify with being as the manifested son of the living God. I identify with my sin has been washed from the east to the west. My sin has been washed through the blood of Jesus whiter than snow. I identify that I will live in sin no more. I identify that he is a new creation. He will sin no more. The Holy Spirit in me does not sin. My identity cannot be touched. It does not sin. So I identify with who I am in Christ. Not in my struggle. There is no struggle in the presence of God. There is no sin and temptation in the presence of God. God's presence can never tempt you with evil. God's presence can never cause demonic agony. No. So I'm learning to live in that presence. And the key I'm learning is I'm in that presence in the Holy Spirit, not through an application. And so God has really changed my life. And I'm just, I'm grateful that he allows me to evangelize. I'm so good because the sin in my heart, the sin in my life and my struggles I've got, had to gone through and the sexual temptation I've had to gone through and the lust and the pornography and the evil and the, and the foolish, so many things. And just after overcoming all that and just God lavishing his mercy and his grace, it's made me love this God. It has made me want to serve God like no matter what. You know what I'm talking about? Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we know what you're talking about. But I just want to come in. I just want to just vent and just release. I can't. 
I'm at a point I can't store, I can't hold in no more, I have to share, I have to testify. It's mandatory. It's my life depends on it. My the very the very oxygen for me to even feel heavenly oxygen, I have to testify. Like testifying about Jesus, his goodness, his grace, just what I'm feeling in the Holy Spirit, just releasing my heart. Just it's mandatory for me to even feel supernatural peace and joy. I can't hold it in. And God expects me. The Father expects me to come here and to share. Let's go ahead. Go to this sound. But just want to look at the soundtrack of your life. You want to be like, what is the sound and what is the theme and what is the melody and what is the introduction and what is the outro? And you want to look at the outro. You want to look. I have God's glory. I have all the money in the world. I have all creation. I've explored everything. You have to learn to explore in your mind. I've explored every city every island i've accomplished every goal every feature has been fulfilled character has been filled to the maximum i've developed i've beat this game i've defeated all these demons so you have to you have to learn to look ahead of time to really explore and experience the prophetic realm okay your seeing in christ is absolutely prophetic and you have the ability to see past present future all in one timeline so we spend hours praying and asking but it's really you don't pray to God and, and I like to break these things down on human terms which we call analogies there was this one man of God that came into my life and he was so amazing at taking the scripture taking these magnificent revelations of Jesus and breaking them down into an analogy concerning earth earthly wise and it was so amazing how you would take these revelations and break them down and I said father I want that and so I invested I sowed seeds I prayed for that and the Lord has given me that spirit you know what I love about having the Holy Spirit Satan does not dwell in the Holy Spirit I don't care what you're struggling with I don't care what I'm struggling with that evil, that sin, that lust, that temptation, it does not exist. It does not dwell in the Holy Spirit. When you understand this, you sit back in life and just let things play out. Instead of being all frustrated, trying to work so hard and over time, getting, comp getting complicated, complexing things. Because we complex a lot of things that are meant for God to deal and take care of. Because we step in and try to do his job. We try to do the boss's job. But, yeah. You know, I love this channel more than I ever have. I love just releasing more than I've ever had. I've had to go through so many different mental... I had to overcome so many mental barriers in this channel. I've had to overcome so many obstacles spiritually. And through the Holy Spirit, I overcame them all. No matter what, this is your life. Everything that you will face... In Jesus, you have already overcome everything. You are more than a conqueror in Christ. You don't just conquer, you're more than a conqueror. Okay, and that's, that's a whole nother level in that scripture, in that text right there. There's a whole nother level. And you got to get spiritual and you got to see it to really know what it's talking about. You don't just want to read the Bible, you want to experience it. The Holy Spirit is the experiential of the supernatural. But, um... I am so thankful the wisdom God has given me and I use every opportunity not trying to figure out how I'm going to make money. Maybe I need to write it. I'm just trying to share this. Everything I know I am willing to share to anybody who's willing to listen just to release it and share it and hope that that human soul ultimately receives is touched and led to the cross. Everything I do it's not look how wise I don't want to leave somebody all inspired and not lead them to cross to the cross of Jesus. I don't want to leave somebody blown away by my by the wisdom God has given me and not lead them to the cross. So my ultimate is it's there's a there's a progress in this. There's leading to the cross, leading to repentance, leading to Jesus. 
right? Am I right? Am I right, Holy Spirit? Angels of God surround me right now. Angels of power. Michael and all the archangels fight the cosmic powers, fight the principalities, ruling and governing in the second heaven of lust, immorality, poverty, sickness of us, of this land. I implement the word of God. The wealth of the wicked will go to the righteous. Whatever is decreed and declared, it will be established. So I just release angels to heed unto this word and establish momentum, establish building blocks, establish glory, establish revelation and portals where the spirit can flow out and remove all demonic influences off our next season, off our goal, off our prosperity, off the people that are tied to our destiny. You know, there's people that are connected and tied to your destiny. People are so important. You know, a lot of times I would just, oh, I just want to worship Jesus. I just love the Lord. Just read my Bible. People, I don't need, no, 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 but those people, I need those people because they are carriers of the Holy Spirit. They are carriers of God. Okay. So when you look at a human being, so you don't really see yourself unless you look in the mirror, right? But when you look at other people operating in the spirit, when you look at other preachers preaching, you're able to literally see God in a first person view, his operation, his confession, his speech, his look, his movement, his joy in that expression. And when you look at it all spiritually, you begin to see God's movement, his hand, his look, his face, his features, his design, his movement, his opportunity, how he speaks, how he moves. Then you see the operation, which is the Holy Spirit, how at the end of the service, they do an altar call. People start getting healed and delivered. Then you start seeing the time of the ministry. Then you start seeing the time and the move of the Spirit. And then you start seeing the when this window opens up, when we do this at the beginning of service, this happens through the preaching, this happens. And then you start seeing the order of God just when you go to church. Now, this is when you get spiritual. You know, we're, we're so programmed to be carnal. We're so programmed to not see the amazingness in something as simple as this moment. There's angels all around me. Every constellation of the universe is aligned. Everything God, who he was, who he is, what he will be is all in this moment. And as we allow the Holy Spirit to open us up from all these constraints, your mind and your logic and your carnal mind is always trying to constrain you. It's always trying to limit you from going ever see this is like I just had a vision right now as I'm speaking. Like you go into the things of God and your carnal mind and your logical mind, which is a gift from God, but it always tries to grab your spiritual and pull you back. No, we can't do that. You don't have enough money. You can't be obedient to what God says. Look at your bank account. You can't do what the Lord says. Look at your circumstances. Your carnal mind is always trying trying to do that. It's always trying to pull you. So one of the, a lot of times you feel frustration. It's not even the devil. It's your carnal mind. So you have to fill your words. So you have to fill yourself so much with prayer, fasting, the word of God, and you have to go through levels of breakthrough until you go through levels of take through. Ooh, that was the Holy Spirit right there. And as you're just obedient and you, a lot of people are scared because you know, I can't believe how good this God is to me. You know, when I think about all the mistakes I've made, which God doesn't see it as mistakes. God doesn't see your sin. He sees you as the righteousness. So when you bring that, you're, you're, you're really stepping out of your identity. And because you're not in aligned with your identity and see manifestation of the word of God, of his promises, it's all what I want. I've learned it's all about alignment. You could be speaking great things. I decree, I declare financial prosperity. I decree, I declare salvation here. Okay, you could be speaking and have that part right. But your thinking be the total opposite. So you have your speaking right, but your mind, you're thinking and believing the opposite of what you're saying. And then you're doing the complete opposite of what you're saying and doing. So you're not, a, your words, your thinking, and your doing is not in alignment. That's why you're not seeing manifestation. I'm so thankful how far the Holy Spirit, I have went through, listen, you ever play a video game? I have went through dungeons in the spirit. I have had to defeat so many boss fights. I have had, you know how in the video game you fall or whatever it says, you die, but then you come right back. I've fallen so many times. I've, it's like, it's been on, it's been like a most amazing video game of my life, like serving Jesus Christ. Like I've gained so many different swords, different vitality, different books, different Agility, different skill trees and different points in the Holy Spirit. And it's, it's wonderful. 
And I love God. I really love God. I really do. I really love the Lord. He's taken me so far. He's taken me through so much darkness, so many, so many valleys, so many mountains. And you know what this does? It makes you value life. It makes you appreciate the very breath. It makes you just adore every moment of your life. No matter how dark, no matter what, it just it gives you something money can't buy. Speaking of money, we got millions of dollars coming in. Our channels are prospering. Our our music. I'm I'm doing music for Jesus right now. It's it's anointed. It's powerful. It's it's prospering and wealth is coming on all sides. I'm not. It's just it's beautiful. And um, you know, a lot of times you might have somebody taking care of you, and so the Lord will. I've learned this just recently. The Lord will take care of you through that person. See, your mother is your mother doesn't love you unconditionally, doesn't hold you in her arms because she's perfect. No, that's God loving you unconditionally through your mother. Okay, so but when that person no longer takes care of you or they make a decision, you're on your own, they have just put you in the hand of God. Now it puts God in a position where he has to provide. So this isn't testing God in a bad way. This is where we put God in a position to provide or to bless us. Because when your mother, your father forsake you, whatever, God will take you up. See, he'll keep you. He'll maintain you through parents. But then when you're ever on your own or where it's time to go out, that puts God in a position to bless you in a different way. So I'm learning this. You know, now that I have to, you got to buy your own food. You're like, well, my money, it doesn't, all of a sudden, all these divine ideals to make money come out of nowhere. And then you're making, you have uh, different levels of income, right? Not right then you used to when you really wanted it, but all at the perfect timing. Like, it's just, it's amazing how God's hand unfolds. And I love it too, because... One thing, I don't care how much wisdom you gain, a person that is truly wise, what am I doing right now? I'm getting comfortable. I got my knees up. I don't want to make sure because I want to make sure we straight. I'm not pressing stop, okay? <clears throat> but, uh, all right, let's go back. Where are we at? Where are we at, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, where are we at? Holy Spirit. Oh, I'm going to tell you something that's going to change your life. I don't know who's here right now, who's watching, but um, I'm listening to video game music right now. I need to turn on because I can't hear it. gaze into the heavens and the map of eternity, the exploration points of Jesus, the golden oil of the Shekinah glory fused in the menorah, the Torah, the whole pattern given to Moses, in one revelation expressing the heart of God as the heart breaks, the mountain shakes, mountain shake because you're breaking God's heart. And then we just gain, we just grab the keys of heaven. We grab the treasures and vaults of eternity. We grab the new levels of our creator. We grab and behold. Okay, where we at? Because we could go all on day. See, there's so many different sides of the Holy Spirit that you can flow in whenever you want. There's a river of light. There's an infinite stream inside of the Holy Spirit that you can flow. If it's the riches of God you want, we'll flow in that. If it's the expression of God you want, we'll flow in that. If it's the creativity, if you want to gain in God, we can flow in that whenever we want, however much we want. There's, we've been given an immeasurable spirit, a spirit of immersion. But the key is learning these things. You want to learn. 
you know, we can learn skills. I had this revelation the other day and this guy was talking to an angel and their car needed to be fixed. And so he was like, well, hey, you're an angel. Can you just do something? He's like, he's like, look, I'm an angel, not a mechanic. But what it was showing me, not that the angel could have done some supernatural, God could have used angel. It was showing me everybody has a specific role and that is needed in this life. And even in the heavens, we will go to specific people according to what God is telling us to do or where to go and we're gonna that role role playing that role these people are their skills are tied to certain roles in life so the more skills you really develop you're gonna be on all these different roles and you're gonna be on all these different exploration and you're gonna experience God on multi-dimensional levels and you, it's gonna be yours because once you've activated it once you have tapped into it it's already yours but now you get to share now it's activated the gift is inside of you but now it's open you know, in, in, in God, we all have so much uniquenesses, but I really believe Christians, even powerful Christians, even great men of God, great preachers of all time, I think we live under this fear, like, we're so afraid we're going to say something wrong. We're so afraid to let the Holy Spirit just have His way and flow, and it really, it quenches, and we're not giving people or God what's truly desired. And I think, and I don't want to be like that. I told the Lord, I'm going to be spiritual and I'm going to let you flow, Lord. And I don't care what no one thinks. We rise in the name of Jesus. We shine in the name of Jesus. We reign in the name of Jesus. The devil, he's already been sentenced. He's already been judged. The lake of fire is already his destination. But our destination is glory. Our destination is the Prince of Peace. Our destination is the God of Israel. Our destination is the New Jerusalem. Our destination is all eternity. Kings and priests unto our God. We will forever dwell in his love. Where we at? Where we at? Where we going? Holy Spirit, where do you want to go? Look, 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 look. It's all you got to do. You just got to come here to the ministry that God has anointed, God has ordained, God has called you to. And you just got to speak. And I'll manifest through the language. I'll manifest in the atmosphere. And I'll take over. You just got to come here and just start speaking. I'll do the rest. I'll take you to this location, give you this key, give you this treasure chest, show you how this demon's trying to do this. Cast it out for you. Become the sword for you. Chop the head of that power off for you. Unleash, unlock this angel for I'll do it all. You just come here, you worship, and just release. The Holy Spirit will do the rest. I'm on a yacht, I'm on a chariot in the Lord Jesus. I'm fishing in the Lord, catching all kind of fight now. Bass flounder. I am seeing different heavenly creatures all over the place and rejoicing at the Mount Zion. Spirit. Where you want to go, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, take me to shops in different levels of heaven. Take me to the donut shop. If there is heavenly food, I believe there is, take me to it and let me see it. Let me see the divine substance. Let me see the crystals and the materials and the diamonds and the gold of God. All right, that was good. To find so you know music is so powerful it, um, music unlocks the atmosphere and if you can learn how to capture the atmosphere you can take control of your city your nation your job you, easily i've spoken many times about that if you want to know more about it there's like 500 videos of me talking about jesus that you can watch for free Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is some serious nostalgia. That, <laughs> yes. 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 This is better than a video game, I'm telling you. I, I See, 
Hold on, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out. God has given me much revelation and knowledge and wisdom. All of us that have the Holy Spirit. You just have to learn to release it. You just have to learn to release it. Where's that nostalgia? But, uh, that's beautiful. Is that beautiful? Okay, let's go back. I like that. There are sounds of intimacy. When you enter into that sound, you enter into that atmosphere. So I'm not stopping the video. We ain't going nowhere. I'm not stopping. Because I don't want the Holy Spirit to stop flowing. You know, the Holy Spirit, a lot of times the Holy Spirit flows, right? Look, 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 I'm going to do it so, because you're looking this way, I'm looking this way, so I'm showing you perspective where we can both see at the same time. See, if I do like that, we're seeing, but if I do like this, then it's a different access of the spirit realm, and you're, you're going to see if you're, the Holy Spirit enlighten your eyes right now. I got to stop saying, I, the Lord wants me to stop saying, if you can, and just start saying you do, because you're supposed to activate people on your channel, not just for wondering, well, maybe, uh, maybe if you're not spiritual, no, you're supposed to activate them in that moment, not just say, well, if you're, and leave them on their own to figure out, you're supposed to activate them, so the Lord just showed me that right now. He didn't even show me, I became that in that moment. The moment just revealed that, and now I'm a part of that, and now I carry that for the rest of my life right now. But look, the Holy Spirit's flowing right. And look, you got all the, your mind is always trying to get you out of the flow of the Spirit. I got to go check my email. I got to go check my bank account. I got to go see. I, I think I heated up some cold donuts. But, and what you do is you, you stop that flow and see the flow, it goes deeper and deeper. Even though it's flowing, it's going deeper and deeper and deeper. Look, look, look. It's going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. So you find the anchor, which is the Lord Jesus, but then it goes higher and higher and higher. Hold on, hold on. Higher and higher and higher. So... There's times where you need to go three or four hours. And see, when you go into that three or four hours, you're going so deep in the flow of the Spirit. See, you're releasing, but as you're releasing, God is giving you more than what you can imagine or what you even spoke. That video was a powerful, it was anointed, the Holy Spirit was all over it. God is giving you more in that moment. So that's why you come back and you're able to go another five hours. And so it's all meant to go deeper and to expand wider and expand greater. And so you take this back into the simplicity of your life when you go to your job, when you take care of your kids, to take this type of revelation and divinity and be able to operate in the simplest parts of life is a key in a transition of what we will be doing in the kingdom of heaven forever and it's very rootedness right so I'm not going nowhere I don't care where I got a powerful computer this thing can handle 4k it can upload fast and we got all day but um see I love the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit opens up to us. Listen, I activate your potential right now. I activate your dreams right now. I activate your speed up to the next dimension in the spirit right now. I activate your prophetic realm right now. I activate your key and your situation that is tied to the event, the miracle. I activate your ability to realize all your prayers. All your prayers have been answered. The fulfillment of life is already living inside of you. So to tap from the fulfillment to create a past desire, past understanding, past fulfillment. The Holy Spirit, which has no bound, is not bound to time. I'm not constrained to an image, God not conformed to a form, but the full spectrum and to flow in that. I activate that inside of you. Angels are coming with keys through this activation. And you know, when I start to realize, you know, we have all these things in our mind, and well, I did this yesterday, blah 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 blah, right? So it's always there to stop the definition or stop from defining us with who we are divining as with Christ and when you really go through breakthrough you realize how powerful you really are you realize you have the power just by a 50 second conversation to touch somebody change somebody's life make the entire kingdom of darkness and satanic chains break off their life activate their ministry cause them to inherit wealth just by a 50 just by your words 
You realize just by you being who you are in Christ, the entire, the entire world has been transformed. And then you realize just by you walking in a nature, trees are in harmonic melody, the death and darkness flees out of nations, out of streams, out of cities, out of villages, just by you showing up. And then you're like, my God. But when it all this power, all this knowledge, all this wisdom, when you learn how to return it back to intimacy, oh, oh. Oh, you know, your pain has intimate intercourse, relationship. Relationship is intercourse. Sexuality is all tied in that. The entrance is tied into that. That's a whole nother realm of power right there. Because you have to learn to allow who you are to flow, not just what you do, not just what you think, not just what you've accomplished, but just who you are. There's nothing you can do to change who you are. You're so valuable to God. God is so madly in love with you. And you're always trying to figure out in your mind, instead of praying, instead of worshiping and experiencing that reality. Because you're not going to find this in the world. The world has one job, to keep you from the cross, to prevent you from experiencing Jesus. The word literally says, the God of this world, the devil, we are not of this world. So in lands of darkness, right? We walk with the harmony and the peace and the love and the beauty of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is the carrier of this. The Holy Spirit's not only within us, but all around us, all over. And the more we speak, the more the Holy Spirit gets to expand. And the more we pray and declare to people and nations, the more we touch, we release the impression and the handprint of God to a greater degree in our life. And then the Holy Spirit gets so excited because the Holy Spirit's able to flow and exfoliate because we're releasing the Holy Spirit, not imprisoning the Holy Spirit. Right? When you serve the Lord, you cannot be stopped. People are stopped because they stop serving the Lord. The Holy Spirit is your everything your capacity spiritually, your acceleration, your desire for Jesus, your understanding of the word of God, your intimacy with the Lord, your prayer language, your expression, your teacher, the Holy Spirit is all of that. So when you stop serving the Lord or when you stray from Jesus, you lose all that. You can't be dedicated to the scripture. You can't even be devoted to the Lord without the Holy Spirit. Okay, people give up on the Lord and he's with his arms right open, waiting for you to return. I found this diamond, it's always shining, all the time. They ask me how I've been, ever since I gave my life to Jesus, just fine. Not what I wanted, but the God of eternity is always on time. Even though I go through the deepest darkness and the heights of the heavens, we always go shine. When demons walk, we can pass about with glory. They gonna go blind. Even though I have, I can still find. Jesus drew the line. And I'm on the winning side. We're on the winning side. Dwelling in this victory brings sweetness. Swimming in the Holy Spirit is the immersion, of the nostalgia, the childlikeness, the beauty and purity and innocence 
that gorgeous diamond located in Christ as Christ. Yay. I'm just sitting back reclining, relaxing in the Lord, delighting in my God, seated with my King. Remedy of the heavens surround us. Angels of God, angelic harmony all around us. Becoming like Jesus more and more each and every day. Experiencing his love, his mercy, his forgiveness. You in Christ, no more guilt, no more shame, no more condemnation, no more failure, no more hopelessness. It's all an illusion. It's cast down. Yeah. All I do is want to taste, swim, and dive in this glory. There's no one better in life than you, Almighty God. There's nothing I'd rather be doing than praising you, my good God. Your praise is intimacy. Your worship is intimacy. Felt like it's been a long time, but then when I get in your presence, it has been. It's been all eternity. I in this moment, I capture your heart, Father. I'm going to love on you until you cry. I'm going to embrace you until you feel it. I'm going to pray until there's breakthrough. Until all the saints are dancing on the waterfalls of God's glory. Until I'm home, but I'm already home. In the blink of an eye, my time on this earth is done. My duty is done. Mission fulfilled. Now it's time to love on Jesus for real. Now it's time to seek the face of God for real. Now it's time to live in the presence of eternity for real. Mm -hmm. We're going to call this Holy Spirit flow. And this is going to be a memory in the spirit. To let the Lord flow as long as he wants. I gotta learn, we gotta learn to let God have his way. We gotta learn to let him have his schedule, his time. We gotta learn to let him take over our abilities, our gifts, our talents, our times, our schedules. Well, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. We gotta learn to let the Holy Spirit have all that. And all we gotta do is sit back, let the Father move on our behalf. He is the bringer of our wealth. The bringer, he causes us to triumph. He gives us the victory. He performs all things. He is the performance. Better than any athlete or basketball game you'd have never watched. Better than any Nike shoes you'd have never purchased and walked in. Better than any volleyball tournament you ever participated in. Better than any home run, home run on the baseball field. We gotta shut it down. The time is over than you ever seen on television. Better than any wine you've ever tasted. The Holy Spirit will intoxicate you with His beauty. The Holy Spirit will overwhelm you. Overtake you. But you gotta get deep in that moment, man. You gotta let the Holy Spirit flow. You gotta let the Holy Spirit flow. See, the Holy Spirit flows and that flow is to meet God's expectations upon your life. You've been serving God. The more you increase, the more he's going to expect, not just with money. When God gives you insane wisdom, <laughs> mighty revelation, there's going to be an expectation, whether it's the expectation to release it, whether it's the expectation of sharing all you have and meeting these specific measures. You're not going to really get God like you wanted him because he's not holding you back. You're holding yourself back. And these are all things that we are learning every day. And the Lord always reminds us. He always puts his fingers on us so gently reminds us of who we are. God's not upset when we're not always focused. He puts us right back on track with love. We're his sheep. What does sheep do? They wander off. And what does the master do? Leads them right back on track.
There's the gentle touch of the Lord. He and that gentleness, He massages. He'll touch your hair, your finger. He'll softly touch you. It's the gentleness of the Lord. And that gentleness, the hand of God, when He touches, see, God touches you in so many multi, multi levels, whatever the word is. Um, Molecule levels, spiritual levels, infancy, all these things. See, in the utterance, physical words, you're, you, you start uttering. You start whatever, blah, blah, blah. You start babbling. But in that utterance, divine language sprouts out. So whenever we're making music, whenever we're in the harmony, whenever we're in specific goals of God, we start to, then we're not really saying things. But when we let the Holy Spirit take over our tongue, divine sentences begin to flow. Divine things begin to come forth out of that utterance because it's not in your human gaining, not in your human knowledge, not in your textbooks at school. It's in the opposite spectrum of the vocals of the words where the spirit of is inside. So what it does is Trent, instead of going outward, well, my mind knows this, I have vocabulary, it goes, the spirit realm is totally different. It's going within, so it's uttering, and in that utterance, God is able to just release divine things, sentences, words, revelations. But, um, I'm just flowing in the spirit. Sometimes I turn off my fan, my TV, my hair conditioner in pure silence because the voice of the Lord, I long to hear it. How long do you long? Are you willing to wait on God? Well, there's a speed and acceleration in the waiting process because you can wait and not pursue. You can wait and not extend. You can wait on the Lord, but not be persevering. So waiting on the Lord is a part of resting in the Lord. But faith without works is dead. So if there's no works in the spirit, you're not going to enter into that harmony, that frequency, that timetable where receiving automatically comes, getting automatically comes, wealth automatically comes. Because it's a time interval that has to connect. It's all like, look, let's say everything is coming on this cord, right? But it's not connected to this cord. This cord's going up and everything you're receiving side is coming on this cord like this. You're doing, you're praying, you're fasting, you're applying God's law. It's right here, but it's not connecting. So this all belongs to you, but it's not connected. It's connected in that balance and that harmony of rest. My life is changing when I learn how to just lay down, not go to sleep, but rest in the Lord. When I learn how to, ever since I really started, and I'm still working on this, working on just resting in the Lord, my life just, I don't know what happens, but just revolts, just towerizes. I'm trying to use big words, just materializes. The glory materializes. I love it. it says the Lord will enlighten my darkness that's what I need right now the Lord will enlighten my darkness this is wonderful I ain't stopping till the Holy Spirit says stop I say I won't even take a break until the Holy Spirit says we're taking a break and anytime we take a break it's to break some more bread to taste some more Jesus soft fluffy just relaxation of the mind the head the spirit the eyes the limbs the body and that healing water and then that vapor where it dissolves and you are minted to the spiritual substance of your creator of your eternal identity of who you are of the faith of the revelation of the knowledge of wisdom which are things you don't see with your physical eyes but you become in that harmony you become in that musical sound and you start to understand a whole new music of the heavens not just music you're looking for the Lord wants to change right now, change us, because we've gone this deep. See, people see change, manifestation, breakthrough in their life because they know how to look. Oh, I love God. It takes me a while to really start getting excited. It takes me it, a while, I gotta get deep in the spirit. It might take me about 10 hours before I really get somewhere, but, we're, but every second we're getting somewhere, but you know, God does that. To show you like look how far you've come 
before you could only walk one mile in the spirit, then you started walking two, then you started walking five. See, there are double accelerations in the spirit. You know you have multiplication, you have addition, you have multiplication. Well, there's addition in the spirit realm that you gain, and this ties into acceleration, this ties into perseverance. Perseverance would be the key word I would like to use. When you learn how to live a persevering lifestyle, you're no longer going to be doing math in the Holy Spirit. You're going to be doing multiplication. So before you would do two, now two times two, you're doing four, now you're doing eight, now you're doing 16. What does that do? That begins to multiply tremendously. That's what happens when you persevere in the Spirit. Then you get to collect diamonds, you get to collect rivers, and then you get to collect oceans. You start to see how big you are in Jesus Christ. It's no longer the ocean is big, you are that ocean. And you start to realize, wait a minute, I have everything. So the only thing that's left for me to do is to release. When you begin to realize this on this side of eternity, you're going to be so rewarded and so introduced and so reverenced and so acknowledged by the kingdom. The kingdom, we don't, you know, we say angels, but if you want to talk about the overall, we say the kingdom because that consists of God, his will, his purposes, the angels, the seraphims, all creation that consists of so the kingdom. The kingdom is a spirit of its own, not just a dwelling place, it's a spirit. Every location of God is a spirit. Eden was a spirit. <sighs> Well, where was we at, Holy Spirit? Because you wanted to say something, but I... Holy Spirit... Holy Spirit, what do you want? Holy Spirit's excited right now. When you release the Holy Spirit, when you learn how to touch the Holy Spirit through intimacy, your life will never be the same. There's a lot of... Hmm. The Lord is changing us right now. There's a heavy spirit of change right now. I can feel it change. Like, I, before I would feel my spirit out here, then I would feel it out here, and now I'm feeling it out here. Our spirit is extended, but there's a change right now in our soul. God definitely wants to change our soul. You know, a, the soul, the soul realm is an experiential realm. The soul realm is so complicated, scientists can't really figure it out because it's meant to be that way because it's not really just supposed to be hidden, but it's an experiential realm, and you can only really go on the soul level to experience. Experience is the key to really explore the soul level of a human being. It's not something, there's so many things beyond what's able to be taught, what's beyond desire, what's able to be shared, you get revelation, so many things beyond where that can only take you to certain levels in the spirit. Experience can take you to that soul level by having a now encounter, not just a memory of when you encountered God, but a now encounter. But it's the Holy Spirit that changes, and we're being changed right now. I can feel it. I can feel the Holy Spirit manifesting stronger. And this is where I want to be, because now a realization is coming upon me, and I realize God expects me to go deep, long, hard, pour out my heart, sing in this, all this, and I'm really seeing that. Before I saw... Now I know, but now I'm becoming, and now it's taking place. And there's certain things it might take you a year to find. Like you've been working hard, you've been trying, doing this, and, but when you find it, when you find it, when you find it, it's yours forever. It's always been there, remember. We're being changed right now. Um, the Holy Spirit likes this sound. So when the Holy Spirit likes something, see, I can see it in the Spirit. There's like this concrete, right? And there's all these holes of light in the concrete. That's the Holy Spirit. And there's things we like, we invest in. And it kind of really hits the concrete because it's not really what the Holy Spirit likes, which ultimately wants, which ultimately desires, which ultimately is the will of God. So even though we like certain things, it's not really going into what the Holy Spirit likes. So it's not emitting and breaking that ground and really molding us and transforming us into what Jesus likes. 
Because you know God is a person. He has things he likes. There's things he dislikes. He hates sin. There are things that excite Jesus. There are things that ignite Jesus. There are certain words you can use that activate Jesus. There are certain things you can do, say, feel, say, think that release Jesus. There's certain things that make Jesus overwhelmed with joy. There's certain things you can do to make God move from his throne. There's certain things you can do that make God stand up and rejoice from his throne. God is the most emotional being ever. It is so easy to touch the Father. It's not hard. Look, 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 look. He's not a million miles away. He's in all the miles. He's a million in every one mile. When you see that, you're going to be see. You reach a certain level in the spirit of God where you can't even talk normal. You have to sing to God. The, the seraphims around the throne of God, they can only cry. So there's a certain revelation realm you experience where you can't even just talk normal. You can only scream in God. You can only cry. message. I'm on a mission. Jesus is right next to me. It's my best friend, man. I laid in his arms one time and I ain't never been the same since. I met him face to face one time and I ain't never wanted nothing else. I got touched by the hand of God one time and gave up all my money, all my success, all my multi-millions just to get that touch one more time. You know, you come here, right? You exercise your gifts, your talents, your abilities. Oh, I smell something in the spirit. I smell a refreshing in the spirit. I'm about to start getting prophetic up in this mug. I feel a, I smell like, you know, a fabric free breeze. I smell a Holy Ghost free breeze, a refreshing. Because, oh, do we need a refreshing. You know. <sighs> My soul is being changed right now. You know, there's certain stubborn situations in your life, right? Certain things that you just keep going through and going through. You've mastered all these other things. But there's certain things you're like, why is it still here? When is it going to go? But I tell you, it's there for a reason. It's there for a reason. It's there for a reason. Do you trust me? There's certain manifestations that are only released through singing. See, your vocal cord stores the ministry of Jesus Christ. Your language stores the location. Man, I could go on. I could go on for the next 20 years and talk about that. Because when you allow the Holy Spirit to lead and you talk about something, you, you stay in that, look, 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 look. I'm getting all these visions right now. Look, I love Jesus Christ so much. Look, you, talk, you let the Holy Spirit lead you. So the Holy Spirit is the key that opens the door. You're in the room, right? You're talking about whatever the Holy Spirit is talking about. Then the Holy Spirit unlocks the key to that next door, takes you in there. Then the next door, it takes you there. And in this room, there's ladders. In this room, there's a telescope. In this room, the whole universe is in the palm of your hand. So he... Yeah, this is beautiful. I'm, I feel the Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus is always, there's different ways Jesus talks. He has the authority, you know, the line of Judah, the lamb, right? But Jesus also has this way where he's like, where this like, he's pleading for humanity. And I see it very clearly and very visibly where he's like, everything you could ever desire or want and more, I have. Won't you come to me? He talks like that. Because he's so lowly, even though he's all powerful, he's so lowly. See, if you ever want to experience and really see the heights of God, you gotta have to go to lowliness. But and he pleads with humanity and people, he's like, I know what you desire. And what you desire, it is with me and me alone. Come and I will freely give. You know, when every time you pray, God hears there's something going on in the spirit realm. Every time you pr whatever preach right now, I can feel the Holy Spirit. 
you you experience you're experiencing you just you're ex the more you experience the more you're able to identify when you're experiencing the experiencer can identify the experiences mm. that's powerful right and right now because i've been praying to god like why are video games so fun can't i find immersion in the holy spirit instead of playing a video game but i ha i didn't god answered my prayer but i didn't get it till i made a sacrifice or it didn't show itself to me purely until the fire burned the sacrifice. Mm. Ooh, we still have more coffee. You know, everything becomes enhanced when you're in the spirit. The coffee you drink, the air you breathe, you, you, the, the oxygen you because God is the oxygen. Your entire surrounding changes. I have to call my brother. You know, I love, lately I've been learning, I gain wisdom, but my life is changing. And now it's not just me gaining or doing, it's more about me being changed by the Holy Spirit. So that was one phase of my life that I went through. So many breakthroughs, so many different levels, so much gaining, so much spiritual warfare, so much revelation, so much encounter. But now it's like shifting into a, a plateau, golden substance i can my spiritual eyes are open right now and the holy spirit you don't activate your third eye and your crown chakra all that you let the holy spirit activate your spiritual vision okay if you really want to see in the spirit realm if you really want to see god not, there ain't nothing wrong all that stuff the holy spirit oh you're still recording you're a good boy no, I will not stop because the video might stop. I will have faith. I ain't stopping. I can feel electrical cords getting stronger. I can feel cords like strengthening right now because I'm staying in the flow of the spirit. So it's getting stronger. The voltages of electricity are getting stronger. The, vo the authority, the God's ministering and speaking through our vocals, it's, it's getting more. It's getting stronger. And I need this strength. There's certain challenges in your life that you need a certain strength. You need a certain height in the spirit before you, you rise. And then you see there's certain darknesses. You have power over everything, but there's certain darknesses in your walk. You have to rise to a certain degree. Then face to face, you look that devil in the eye and he bows. Then you walk to a greater dimension. Demons know when you're starting to get big in the spirit. You know, how, you know how you see, you can tell when somebody been working out, somebody, man, you a swole animal, brother. There's somebody I work with, this brother is swole. You can physically see it, right? Well, spiritually, when you're getting swole in the Lord, demons gonna be like, don't mess with him. He got knockout power. <laughs> he got knockout power. You know, God loves, God has desires and wishes one of his desires is there's something about god when you trust him it does something to his spirit like it makes him just move from his stone and rejoice when you really trust in him god desires to be trusted and in that trust you shall not be disappointed you shall be rewarded greatly you will be immersed and satisfied in the peace and glory of god you will receive more wealth than you could ever in this life and the next. God does, because listen, God is God. When you fulfill his desire, that's beyond creation, beyond existence. It, it takes place. Okay. Okay, little buddy. Okay, little buddy. I ain't going nowhere. You thought, you thought. Hey, buddy. Want to hang out with me today? The Lord told me to message you. But none. Hey, buddy, let's hang out. Oh my gosh, I still have 20. I still have over 50. Or I still have a long time before I got to go back to work. It's amazing what takes place, what can be established, 
what can be accomplished in the presence of God because in the presence of God you step out of the reality of human time and you step into eternity where there's no limitations there's no constraints there's no temptation there's no sin in God's presence so when you really get immersed in that and you keep going and you don't just like a lot of times we a lot of times we can last about 15 20 minutes right like here's God's presence here's the entrance and we do here but before we get in we start Oh, we get weary, we get tired. Oh, I need to go. I need to go to Shipley's Donuts. I love Subway. I, I want to go to Subway. I want. I need to do this. I need it. So we miss going into that door and experiencing. There's a new fire coming upon us. You know, Jesus. One thing is revealed to me. There's different flames of Jesus. It's not just this red flame like we imagine. That's part of it. But there's the white flame of Jesus, the holy flame. I don't know whatever you've seen a atomic bomb or whatever well when you release the white flame it's like that it disintegrates evil it disintegrates and I see that as I'm speaking about it see once you have acquired something in the spirit just like a gauntlet armor you get to wear that whenever you want you've come you've acquired it in the spirit so I can release the white flame whenever I want because it's mine portals of darkness are being removed there's certain portals that the enemy comes in and you've been praying you cast some demon out you do self-deliverance over yourself but you have to close that portal that door see God gives you an overall view of a demonic spirit and and those and they all the overview there's like points on this circulation of perspective understanding understanding knowing the weapon the ability the intel of the demon there's all these voices these manifestations of god's spirit and it pinpoints on a demon and your very focus will rip that devil to pieces it will make him fly so deep into hell he'll remember your punch you'll be like i will never fight him again i'd rather be tormented by the master by satan than to go against the death that because the demon the devil torments his demons, right? Well, the Holy Spirit torments demons too. That's a million times worse. Don't be mad, little buddy. Don't be mad, little buddy. Don't be mad, little buddy. So we're talking about Jesus. The devil can't stop us. I need to take a picture and remember this moment. This is powerful. I feel the Holy Spirit. Jesus. Listen. We love the power God gives us, right? But if I could spend the rest of my life and all there was left to do was to worship Jesus, give me a piano, give me sound, I would be good. The glory realm, worship gets you into the glory realm. And a lot of times we go to church, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. You know we love the Lord, but it's when you get in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit becomes that authentic worship. The Holy Spirit becomes that reverence, that trembling, where the fear of the Lord dwells. That's one part. Then the Holy Spirit becomes that honor and that gratefulness and that value to the Lord. Those two spheres combine. And then you begin to worship God with these things and it moves the Father. It expands Him and then His Spirit opens up and you see a new dimension of God. And in that moment, you are transformed forever. You don't even know what happened. The Holy Spirit had to explain it. You still didn't know what happened. When knowing is explained, identity is identified.
angels have soared to demonic throats and those demons are cowering and weakening because they're realizing that you are only going higher and higher and greater and greater and stronger and stronger the more they try so they're beginning to quicken me away from your life demons are quickening away from our life You go through something in your life, something you've been struggling with for however amount of time. And the devil, he gets confidence. He gets all prideful. He's like, yeah, I got you. But when the angels come, when the Holy Spirit comes, when the Almighty and the Spirit of the Lord fall, they move away forever. And then God puts his hand down. He declares, I have sealed this one. He is mine forever. He cannot lose nor be defeated. That breaks and shatters the confidence of Satan. Then he cowers and trembles down. And then God lifts you up and shows you, shows the devil who you are in the spirit. And then reverence comes. And the enemy submits to that. And he is left so much more devastated than him going to hell by what the Lord just did in that moment. God will fight for you if you let him. But you have to speak it, you have to see it. You see it, you see something, then you have to speak it. And you're gonna see manifestation. A lot of times we see things. God shows us something, but because we don't speak, we don't release the Rakadash, we don't release the Holy Spirit, we don't release the manifestation. So God has these desires, he has these wills, he wants to do things, just like a gun. You have a gun, you point it at the enemy. If you don't pull the trigger, that gun's not going to do nothing. Well, we see things, the gun, but we don't speak what God is showing us. We don't prophesy what God is telling us. So if the trigger isn't pulled, demons don't back up. Wow, this is beautiful. We're going deep right now. I can feel the Holy Spirit in my legs right now. Um. You know how, let's keep looking. See, right now I'm looking at my reflection in this camera, so I'm able to see what is going on. See, behind you is a very amazing realm. It talks about God speaking in the Bible. There's secret, there's encoded messages. The wind, it talks about behind. If you notice, the devil always goes behind. He went behind the throne of God. He, so you can look what Satan is doing in your life, not because he doesn't come face to face. He goes hidden behind you where you're not looking. So you can really look back when you're in the spirit and see the reflection of the enemy is doing. But when you have your father, you can see what God is doing. And because you're speaking it, you're not prophesying, you're not declaring, things are being established, you're not speaking. Now God is able to loose his sword. A lot of times we hold back God's sword from falling on our enemies. I just seen a flash to the right of my eye, an angel show up. Michael, Uyando, Castello, Shredder. You call upon, learn about angels. And then call and use them. They're waiting to be used. When I learned this years ago, I don't even have to do 90% of the work I used to have to do. No problem. Love you. forever to get in this moment. The world, the enemy does everything it can to keep you from this moment. The presence of the Lord.
rings of fire are going to begin to torment the minds of demons as they plot, strategize. Oh, I feel this boy. See, the angels are just waiting on you to just speak because they heed unto the voice of the Lord. Remember, that's what the scripture says. They heed unto God's word. God's word is not returned void. So when you're speaking with the Lord, that's what so I'm seeing that. But there's going to be these rings of fire. And when demons begin to plot, the devil don't like this. He's mad, shaking his head. I can see it now. He, but he's so weak and he can't even touch me. There's a gulf of glory all around me. There's going to be these rings of fire. When demons begin to plot, strategize, sentence, come against us and their thoughts, their mind is going to be tormented by the rays of God. And they're going to see it as electricity because they can't see the light. But it's really the light emitting and turning into electricity. Electrifying their thoughts. Electrifying their plans. In Jesus' name. Angels flash. Go and make it about to happen. It's all a war over words, man. It's all a war over the word. Because when you release the word of the Lord, the entire kingdom is moving. When you don't release the word of the Lord, the entire kingdom of heaven is staying. Yeah. I see. The plots of Satan will be destroyed by your declaration. When we declare God releases his hammers, judgment is found in declaration implementing the law of God it's releasing the authority of God I never knew how powerful a declaration was now the Holy Spirit is really showing me we declare that the fire of the Most High God will burn through every chamber of darkness every wall of evil every prince of Pilate that tries to come in and there will be walls of glory that surround us from temptation mountains in the spirit angels shall build and surround us from temptation there will be arrows there will be automatic turrets there will be lightning voltages the blood of the lamb all over this place and it will protect us from temptation This is where we gather strength, revelation, artifacts. This is where the greater happens. Mm -hmm. Chimes of my presence shall be unleashed to you. This is the way what was foretold and spoken about. The prophets, the voice of the Lord echoes in many dimensions at one time and brings so many flashes of brilliant light to this moment, to the sphere. And we put it in our hearts and our hearts are touched and changed and glorify and rejoice in God's light. Amen. When you learn how to have a good time and fun, prophesying fun, man, you're going to be on a playground with the Lord swinging in glory, looking at Jesus laughing. The Lord pushes us on a swing, but he pushes us just so high, but so calm, so smooth. Demons are being chopped up right now. Every demon that has persevered in our life, moved in our life, 
shredder is shredding them to pieces now. Angel shredder. circulation of heaven is unveiling in our mind. We're beginning to experience openings in our mind, our spirit, our home, our life. Wealth is pouring in. Ideals is pouring in. Innovation is pouring in. Grace is pouring in. Establishment is pouring in. Rejoicing is pouring in. Joy is pouring in. Jesus is pouring the cup in. His flow his heart into ours We're gonna begin to feel different look at people different love on people different experience different walk different every time you get in God's presence you get rewarded because he is the rewarder. his presence is the rewarder you have no choice but to get it. it's not even a decision you enter into that reward you enter into that wealth he is a rewarder for those who diligently seek him remember those who diligently seek him not just success, not just getting knowledge, not just bettering your life, but those that diligently seek Him. He is a rewarder for those that diligently seek Him. Okay, you gotta catch that. <sighs> Darkness is being released from my mind. Hatred removed from your heart. Evil removed from your eyes. You're going to clearly see the beauty and pleasure of the Lord. You've stayed this long, I release a special blessing upon you. Holy Spirit, just sphere of flow. It's just a, it's a pure love, a pure sound. And when you seek God alone, you find that alone time in God with all. And every part of you expands, not just your mind, from praying through your mind. But when you go through the Holy Spirit, that is the full manifestation of God. So to receive not just in your mind, not just a specific healing, but purely through the Holy Spirit is to receive all at one time. So everything in your life changes. We're gonna go out on the sun today because in nature you nurture. The heat you absorb, nurture, absorb, and in the creation, which is all before you. You see the design, the 
direction, the deposit of the Creator. And so when you look through these lenses and feel through these lenses, and you begin to experience God in such a pleasurable supernatural way, your pleasure systems begin to change. Because in any addiction, thing we do, what is it? You always want more. You always want a bigger high. So sometimes you have to experience a greaterness to destroy that wicked experience. Because that may bring you pleasure. That may bring you dark joy. But you have to experience God, which is the greater of all. And you replace that pleasure. You replace that joy with godly joy, godly pleasure. And you begin to desire it because it's far greater than anything you've ever done. And you live holy in the Lord. And it becomes easy to live righteous, easy to live clean, easy to be innocent, easy to watch what you look at, easy to let go of all those things you've dedicated to your life, those idols we've dedicated our life to for so many years. Because we experience a purity that's never been found before. And even in those glimpses, we know this is real. This is so real. You know? It is so real. My prayer and my hope is that whoever will see this will be touched. Experience God. Be changed. Angels will be released to you. Freedom you will feel beyond measure. Birds will come to you. You begin to have visions and dreams of the supernatural. You begin to desire God and wealth will come upon you. Life will come upon you. Joy will come upon you. And just every kind of evil will just start snapping out of you as you come here. It's my hope. And you'll come to Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Receive him and live for him and experience him. I'm going to sleep now. I'll see you when I wake up. I'm going to rest in the Lord now. I'll see you when I arise. Heaven, i see you when we get there. Time. Eternity is our time. God is our home. The kingdom is our business. The spirit is our wealth. Covering is our protection and security and sanctification. The blood gives us the right, qualifies us, establishes us to eternal land of prominence. Uh, what is that, Grand Pulse? Hmm, that brings back nostalgia. Grand Pulse. So we're implementing new spiritual techniques in this. Like, why aren't you talking? Why aren't you preaching? Why are you quiet? Well, there's a, there's something called tearing in the spirit, waiting on the Lord. A lot of us, we don't really, we don't really got that part down. Tearing in the spirit, waiting on the Lord, learning how to slow down time and every activity you do. Like when you implement this to your spiritual schedule and your spiritual walk, man, you're going to start seeing manifestation. God's going to start speaking to you. You're going to start getting more than you could ever do on your own. So right now we're just tearing, we're waiting. We don't even need to speak, not preach, teach, blah, just we're tearing. I learned that from one of my brothers. I'm with you, Mr. Walker, forever. I feel disappointed. I know that I'm getting closer to my God and so are you.
We in that, we in that glory. Can't you feel it? I feel like we just rising in God. Diamonds open up. You see like a diamond and the outside is so beautiful and sparkly and so valuable and so rare. So we emphasis and put so much value on it. So because we put value on that, that's why money, because we put so much value on it spiritually, it's meeting in with that. And But what happens when you open the diamond hook? It's properties, it's secrets are revealed to you. Secrets are the properties. Secrets of God, the properties of God. The dwelling places of the Lord. There's many things that tell you in the Bible, his stances, the stances. He stands in the congregation of the mighty, walks on the circuit of the earth. There's, these are stances and operations of God certain stances of the Lord that I'm uncovering. Every time I read the scripture, I'm uncovering, even when I don't realize it, when I use faith, not what I'm feeling, when I don't feel the anointing, I don't feel the power, you have to let go of that. And I'm still learning how, learning how to let go of that. It's through faith. It's through your faith. It's through your faith. Jesus said, by your faith, you've been healed. By your faith, it's through, according to your faith, according to your faith, this measure, this prayer, this answer, according to your faith, I shall do. According to your faith, you have to use your faith. Use your faith. If you were to exercise one thing for the next year or six months of your life that would change everything, exercise your faith. Not what you feel, not even your emotions. All that's good. Exercise your faith. When you read the Bible, when you pray, when you come, when you, your faith. experiencing together right now too and tearing and waiting and just being sometimes you got to learn not just oh he's telling me all this knowledge all this wisdom all this revelation you got to learn to hold the hand of the lord and just hold his hand and just receive his pulses his quietness his observation the diamonds in his eyes you got to learn how to learn from that not just words not just teaching not just preaching sessions man there's such a god is so deep in the realm of the prophetic and the spirit of the lord is it's just so deep man it's you're gonna explore forever Like that, like that. Music is filling. That filling is experiencing. And in that experience, you'll have an automatic vision about your life and future. Without your human mind, logical thinking, judgment, all that will cease. This mind will shut because music is harmonious and connects you with everything. It's one of the few times when this mind is connected with your subconscious and music and singing, everything aligns. That's why music is so powerful. So powerful. You have to learn why it's powerful. You have to gain knowledge and wisdom so you can experience to a greater degree and use the tools in this life to greater measures through your knowledge and wisdom by understanding how powerful this really is. What you can do with sound, what you can do with music, what it does to you. Not just what you can do, not just what you can do, but what it does to you. And through you, what you can do unto the world. From the Spirit of God, through the Spirit of God. That's how we operate. In the Spirit of God. With the Spirit of God. You know why Jesus was so powerful? Why he was on earth? No. Tommy, tell me why.
Then I remember playing this game with my friend. It was so unique and different in a memory I had. It was like time was not on a clock, but time was through sequences and spheres of experience and exploration. And life was spheres and there was a diamond in each one of completion. And your team was cooperatively in line with the league and the legion of angels. And you know, when you go back to things in the spirit, you get revelation and things open up like so many, the, the container of life, so many things in life, there's a container and a lid on it. But in the spirit, you take that container off and it releases. And as you speak, you're releasing it to the atmosphere, the molecules, the sounds, the birds which carry the wind, the waves, the angels to move in the spirit realm. And just by you speaking these things, you're releasing and the world is being changed. But most importantly, God is being glorified. Yes. Yes. <sighs> the Lord is pleased with this. I can feel it and that's all that matters. I shared my heart. I let the Holy Spirit flow. Next, we're going to talk about what quenches the Holy Spirit from flowing. One last goodbye. One last goodbye. The hand of God is coming upon you now and touching you. As for me, you know I'll be back. That's fine. That's for us. You know I'll be back. <laughs> you see, the more the enemy tries to hinder me, the more my Lord exhibits me. Oh! You see, the more the enemy tries to attack me, the more my God frees me. And to the measure that I allow to be released, that's why I hit that multiplication. See, that's why I hit that multiplication marker. That's why I hit, you know how you get motivated, you do this, you get $50? Well, I'm motivated by spiritual things. If I feel this measure, I get a new eternal wealth system, a new realm in the spirit. And this is how God rewards me. I get a new realm in the spirit that I, and I get mastery over that realm, which means I have divine revelation, knowledge and understanding, and I get to apply it in this life and uh, release it to other people. Okay. There's nothing almost more greater than when you when someone gets touched by the Holy Spirit by you, or someone gets enlightened when you're preaching, or whatever you do, whatever, whatever it is, when someone get when you touch somebody, when you touch somebody else on this earth, it's like the most fulfilling thing ever, is it not? You're a good camera. I'm proud of you. The Lord is going to bless you right now. When you say the Lord is going to bless you, unless God specifically tells you, don't say tomorrow, don't say next week. You just postpone the blessing by speaking. You say, now is my time for financial wealth. Now is my time for increase. Now, don't ever postpone unless the Lord specifically gives you a time. Don't, when you speak and declare, you say, now. Now, this is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because now, not don't say 10 years from now, you just postpone your blessing. You just put a prison sentence on your blessing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please. <laughs> Think I, I know the Lord. I'm intimate with my Father. And Jesus said, don't. Don't rejoice because you can cast out devils. Don't rejoice because you speak in tongues. Rejoice because your name is written in heaven and you are known by my Father. That's the true rejoicing and celebration. You want to intimately know God. 
talk to God about everything. Do, do, I'm talking about talk to God. I'm talking about your toenails, your eyebrow. I'm talking about get so intimate with God more than just give God. I'm talking about me. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, we just finished the cup of coffee. Jesus, receive your glory. Receive your blessing. I ask that you would receive this praise. You would honor it and worship it. And despite what I go through, anything I've done, I'm washing your blood. Receive. I used to play a lot of games. And the reason why games are so amazing, because first of all, you don't have to do, you can experience the most amazing stuff effortlessly. That's one reason. These people have worked years to prepare this magnificent game for you. But you're able to actually be the character and play it. Not just see it how other people play it, you're able to. And so that causes for immersion. And I'm like, well, how can I do this in the Lord? And we're doing it now. Because to actually get in the presence and do nothing but to see every controller being played, how every role-playing moment will be done. Oh wait, that's for another time, another session. God's giving me a new category now because I asked for it. And so he's gonna give it to me and demonstrate it through me in a category on his channel. This is God's adobe. See, the devil can't touch this channel because it's dedicated to God. It's his. You have to learn to actually not make things yours, but make it his. Then he's going to protect it. He's not going to let nobody touch it. It's his. Purely give it to him. But look. It is time for me to begin. Not go, but to begin. I'm finna listen to some new music, explore new music, and sing to Jesus because I'm trying to figure out before I would try to listen to new music, but um, that's another revelation. Changes and immersion. Changes and immersion would change my life and the immersion of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Something, a total new realm just opened to me right now for releasing and sharing and testifying. So, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back. Bye for now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hmm.